Now, do you sit, because there's, there's hours and hours of this, right? Right. Do you sit somewhere and watch them? Actually, I do. Um, I, I, I watch the show, <laughs> well, you make it sound dirty. Um, I watch the show twice. I'm in the control room usually during cocktail parties and rose ceremonies. How long does that last, the cocktail party? Uh, it honestly, it takes, uh, when we start, <coughs> all night. I mean, we're, we're shooting to the wee hours of the morning, and a lot of times that first rose ceremony, the sun is coming up before we're done. It's just, just logistically of trying to get 30 women out of limos and get into a cocktail party, introduce them, get Brad in, and it takes all night. <coughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm... <coughs> I have so, that effect on women, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm getting all choked up. At it. So, it, it's like 6 in the, in the evening to like... Like, yeah, I mean, we really can't start till the sun goes down. And so, you know, usually it's 8, 9 o'clock, we start, and then we go right through the morning. And so a lot of times when you're wondering, why are these women crying? Well, I think they're in pain because they've yeah. been up all night. Well, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to have to... <coughs> I don't know what's happening to me. Um, we'll fix that in post. We will. <coughs> so, well, just like you, you must edit out hours and hours of that show. We do, and so that's why I actually like to go back and watch the show again. People ask if I... Rewatch mm -hmm. it when it's on TV, and I do because I'm not sure what conversations and what will actually be on. And I also have started a blog that I do, and so actually I watched the first episode. I was back home in Dallas over the holidays, and I was at my sister-in-law's house with my wife and kids, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to invite some of the women from the neighborhood, my sister-in-law and wife, get everyone together. We're going to watch this together. It's not a good idea. Um, <laughs> Wine was flowing, and my sister-in-law, Pam, I'm calling her out right now, decided to create a drinking game that we would cheers every time we saw Brad without his shirt on. <laughs> if you've seen our show, Brad never has a shirt on. Yeah. I barely made it through the second act. All right. So you were drunk. Yes. Yeah. So, so first of all, were you... Were you surprised that they brought Brad back, or did you? Or do you have any? You don't have any say in that. You don't go. I can't. You're saying I have no power. Right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> would you have brought him back? Um, it, when when I heard, and you're right, no, it, it goes way above my pay grade. Who decides? Um, but when I heard, they they floated it by me, and I was, I thought, you know what? Why? Like really? But then the more I thought about it, I I heard that he had gone to therapy and had reflected upon what he had done to Deanna and Jenny, and it was really on him and his abandonment issues and his issues with his dad, which we've learned about. And I thought, you know what, this might be very dynamic TV, because really, and selfishly as a producer, this is what we're thinking, mm -hmm. if he goes down in flames, it's epic television. If right. he falls in love and gets married, it's great TV. So really, anywhere it goes, he gives us a lot of options. Although, and I think one of the women expressed this concern that he was going to just pick someone because he felt like he couldn't, right. re, re, you know, do the same thing that he did before. So that's the yeah. concern I would have if I were one of those women. And they, and they were all, they were all very skeptical. Um, right. So much so one of them slapped him when they got out. Right. Um, but, you know, he, I, I've known Brad for three years and I consider him a friend of mine. And so I believe in him and I believe that he wanted to change and show that he was a changed man. And I don't think he's the type of guy that would just say, you know what, I'm picking this girl because I'm not going to go down in flames and I don't want to do that again. And obviously I know how this ends and I know he's in love. And so he, I think you will see that he has definitely redeemed himself and he is definitely a changed man and had to come to terms with this kind of in front of everybody. So I'm kind of proud of him for that. Right. Because he could have just fallen in love not coming back on the show. He could have right. just gone to therapy and then found somebody else, but clearly he wanted to come back and yeah. redeem himself. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. How do you not laugh, or, or maybe you do and it's just edit, how do you walk in every single time and say, ladies, Brad, it's the final rose when you're ready? <laughs> Everyone knows it's the final rose. They are watching the roses go away. <laughs> there is only one rose, they know it, and yet every single time, ladies, Brad, the final rose <laughs> when you're ready. How do you not laugh when you do that? Well, two things. Um, you realize how little I do on this yeah, show. Well, so please, <laughs> please don't take away the one thing I do. Okay. Um, and secondly, what I do is I, I picture my kids in college. Uh -huh, I, and, see. And, uh, <laughs> I see. Keep a straight face. Kids oh. got to go to school. Um, you know what's funny? I, I, in, in all seriousness, I wanted to get rid of that very early on eight years ago. I, mm -hmm. I'm like, this is ridiculous. But when you are there, and I'm, you need to come to a rose ceremony some night. I would love to. When you're, <laughs> when, I, I'm serious. When you're a fly on the wall, you walk in that room, it's amazing how it really sets the tone. And the women are like, oh, oh my gosh. I, but they I know it. Well, they see it. It's we not all about see it. The, it's really, it's not about the math. Yeah. You know, it's not saying, Ellen, there's a coffee cup between us. Right. You know that. But it, it's kind of just like, oh, my gosh. 
one of us is going home. It's right. really about setting that moment. Right. Yeah. I, it's, All right. it's well, there's silly. a lot there's of really no way I can explain that it's not silly. Okay, because there's a lot of pauses in the music. We know it's dramatic, and it's you know. But uh, so now I'm just gonna uh, uh, ask you if uh, if it's Jackie that he picks. Yes. Go ahead and ask. Is it Emily? Yes, I like her too. Great. By Chantel. the way. Chantel. Yeah. Oh yes. I'm trying to look for something in your We've eyes. We've been playing this game for five years. I know, but and I was right one year. Were I think you? I was right with Allie when she picked uh, uh, the guy that was just on last Roberto. week. Roberto. Yes. It's not Roberto. No, it's not. <laughs> no. That would really be the most dramatic that rose ceremony ever. That would be the most dramatic. Ever. Couple of uh, good looking uh, hawks, yeah. I'll say. <laughs> right. Uh, but I will say this, Brad is, is, I think he's found his love. And, and I've been. Where does she live? I've been through this in a, in a house, I think. What city? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. All right. But I, I will say this. Um, you know, will they make it? You know, I've been through this before, so I can say right now they're in love, and what's to come is the tabloids and being attacked and old right. girlfriends and boyfriends coming out, and so I hope they do. I hope they make it all the way. Well, I hope they do too, but I mean, that, that is a whole lot to, there's a lot of pressure. It is. For, for both of them.